All right, so we doing Invincible is Brutal featuring a kite. Shout out to my boy, I'm Kevin. We haven't, uh, since the last Invincible video, I haven't done no Invincible stuff. But boy, this show, so smacking, bro. This they show smacking. They sides with a double spear. And it's funny because they had full intention of jumping this nigga. Old nigga was the rat this whole time. He really pulled up just to confirm his kill. When they revealed who the monarch was, it was this nigga Omni-Man. And what made it worse is that this nigga hit that. Had a whole nother child. You know it's bad when they got you walking barefoot. But when he looked at the knife, the tip was bent. So that now she's crazy. staying with her parents and I have the feeling she gonna be on her Tobey Maguire shit. Throwing away the suit for a little while. Nolan dropped down and was like, bro, what are you doing? Lock the fuck in. But all it took was the words, lock the fuck in. And, and both started moving it. like a seasonal boxer. There we go. Somehow this nigga Steve is still alive and came through with a backbreaker. But he pretty much says that Nolan is going to get executed. And now Mark has to conquer Earth in his place. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Making us wait three months for the second part is kind of crazy. Like, I rock with Invincible Heavy, but come on, bro. Y'all is not Attack on Titan. That is the only show that's allowed to do that. But y'all already know I be tuned in, and low-key episode five was kind of cool. But since this is the first episode back, I'm gonna pass it off to my boy, Kite. We start off with my guy, Mark, after he and his dad got absolutely jumped and beat. Mixed. And they got mixed. The carnage that the Blended. caused. Mark has to give bad news to Nolan's other baby mama, telling her that Pops my got back. snuck and taken away. And she like, damn, that's tough. How about you? I ain't gonna lie to you, my guy. Nolan wins the Freak Bull Award of the Millennium, my guy. You a freaky boy. Huh? Can't go to a planet without hunching on something. You a freaky boy. My boy got a grasshopper and started smacking, bro. That's a freaky boy, man. He over there said, let me grip the thorax. <laughs> but when you grip the thorax, you got to grip the thorax. You a freaky boy. Over here, uh -huh. let me play with them antennas. You a freaky boy. That's the, that's the... That's the wildest thing he's done in this whole series. <laughs> Help us rebuild, though, and then we'll get you a ride home. Two months Goddamn. later, we see that he's rebuilding, crazy. is ready, and they tell his ass, all right, bro, go home. And he's like, nah, I still got to help around here. Plus, the Earth will be okay without me. Cut to the Earth, and they got like nope. 20 heroes out here to fight one discount abomination. They even called the baddies Trash. out. They Trash. might need, bro, to come back. I'm not going to lie. Because if the baddies is out here fighting, the Earth is in dire need of better heroes. So Nolan's... I ain't gonna lie to you. Invincible LeBron. Invincible LeBron, he want to be able to take a break. I can't take no break. God damn, bro. Y'all can't handle this shit for a couple of months, a couple of weeks, bro. No, you LeBron, bro. You still carrying the team, man. <laughs> you gonna be goddamn 40 carrying the team, man. You feel me? Yeah, man. No, man. You niggas AD, bro. Y'all show up every now and then, bro. Like, what we doing, bro? Turn up, bro. We need some other options, bro. Some other weapons. I need somebody else I can get. I need to start getting my assist up, bro. God damn, bro. Doodoo -doo squad without Invincible. Bug wife. And Invisible keeps getting mixed too, which is crazy. Cause like, hey, I'm old as hell. Take your brother with you to Earth. Cause me, I got like three more days in me. Maybe four if I'm lucky. And at first he's like, nah, you're his mom. He needs you. And she's like, bro, look at me. Shit, me personally, I still crap. You what? So Mark gets back home, brings his brother. He sees his mom, lets her know everything that happened. And she's obviously in shock and it. sick Bug as fuck. Then her old nigga went and made another kid. Freak got kidnapped. And now she has to handle raising his new kid. So she's like, nah, I don't want that little nigga. And Mark is like, okay, I'll handle him. I'll drop out of college. I'll just be a dad for a year. And mom is like, nah, that ain't finna work, gang. And he's like, well, we can't give this nigga away. He's purple. Nigga look like Thanos. Don't nobody want no Thanos, baby. And mom caves in and says she'll take care of the baby. So we cut to Cecil real working and Donald comes in. Shorty a real one. Invisible mom been, been A1 day one. Let's just, just I'd point that out. But. Oh, by the way, I know this ain't my music channel. But I'm releasing a song on Friday produced by Metro Boomin. Yes, the Metro Boomin. Some people don't know that I actually got a Metro Boomin song, like beat a long time ago, like a long time ago where people, and I'm just now going to release the video and stuff with it. 
on my main Screwface Jean channel with a million subs. And yes, it's sounds just as crazy. I don't know why I haven't done a video, but somebody was like, bro, you should go ahead and do that right now. This would be a good time. I said, yeah, you know what? You're right. That's exactly what I'm doing. So the song is called Too Real. It's dropping on Friday, Saturday. Stay tuned. Okay. Yeah. Told, told you I like these other niggas, bro. I'm a rapper first. Okay. All right. Impressing, bro. Tell him to tee the fuck up and slide some answers for what happened when Omni Man ran his fade last season. And Cecil was like, bro, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You want Android, bro. Dr. Jero style. 17, Damn. no 18. We got you out here working harder even after death because that's just the world we live in. Motherfucker really grabbed his reboot card just to tell him to get back to work. Me personally, I wouldn't let that slide. I'd be sick as fuck. So Martin pulls up to school, gives his homie a little update, and hears that the college is too seconds away from kicking his ass out he's like that's cool but i gotta go see bae cecil pulls up though and tries to hit mark with the where my hug at but mark is like nah bro i got a life outside this hero stuff and even in that life i'm saving people so there ain't no hug today and cecil was like bro the guardians have been getting washed without you we see the guardians fighting five and below abomination and yeah they were getting cooked sorry ass team so cecil was like look bro you know what's up with your whole situation and we finna take thanos up off your hand and mark is like nah you not taking Lil bro and Cecil's like I don't nah, care what bro, you bro. say we already got niggas at the house Mark is like you touch little bro I'ma crash out now nah, you you gonna do to him? my bitch and you gonna step out the way and Cecil Word. folds like immediately I wasn't what you gonna do that. I was expecting a little more resistance but again it, it's invincible to a regular ass nigga I was what about you to really say. gonna do like I know he was able to dodge Omni Man that one time but this nigga Mark like right up in his face do he really got the facilities to do anything this Five. close I don't no. think so so Mark no. updates his girl uh here come the worst the worst goddamn character bro i'm gonna keep it tall marvel has been in the toilet for years bro maybe uh deadpool gonna be heat but even if deadpool is heat i don't have any more uh confidence in marvel at all uh marvel is dookie um dc has been dookie dc so far in the toilet got down it's backing up the plumbing this is the best superhero content out right now. If you're not watching Invincible, you're smoking pitch to death. You gotta watch Invincible. It's the best stuff. But with that being said, she is the worst part of this show. Bro, I promise you, you ain't never seen, you know, a character. And y'all know I'm not one of them, ah, women, ah, anti-woke, ah, it's a black character. Ah! I'm not one of them. But... Boy, is she giving those incels all the ammunition they need. Because <laughs> she is awful, my <laughs> Anyway, had to say, I had to get that ring. Happened. She's like, damn, that's tough. Me, on the other hand, I failed a test that's one third of my grade. My grandpa died. And the second I heard the grandpa died thing, I started stressing like, no, she cheated on my nigga. Because, you know, anytime a girl's grandma or grandpa dies, it's followed up by, I was sad. I did some stuff because I was hurt. You weren't around and somebody else was. I really thought she was. A kite, bro. I don't think this is as common as you think it is. <laughs> you need a hug, my nigga? You need someone to talk to? Because somebody clearly burnt you. Somebody hurt, broke your heart. This nigga said, no, it's obvious because you know when people's grandparents die, they get to cheating. What? I never heard that before. This nigga got cheated on. <laughs> Akai, I think you showed your hand. That You acting like... You know, obviously, when somebody loses their, you know, grandparents, that's so specific, nigga. Like, whoever did that to you is an awful person, man. Don't judge other other females by that person, man. Or males, I don't know what you went to. Don't judge that person by that, man. But damn, man, that did, yeah, I, I got you, Pippin. I got you. F her. Back then, they didn't want me. Now, I'm hot. They all on me. Yeah. Live your best life, Pippin. I, I was sad. I did some stuff because I was hurt. You weren't around and somebody else was. I really thought she was about to say some shit that would have made even me crash. That's a crazy I correlation. I let life. the whole softball team hit. I'd be up in there Why like, did you softball think that? team? All of them hit you? Nah, I'm Omni-Man <laughs> 2 in this bitch. So then we cut to the Guardians. Why did you think? Why did your brain go there? <laughs> this nigga traumatized. 
training and rudy a robot whichever you like is like yo immortal monster girl's powers make her even more of a minor so i'm not trying to be any more of a weirdo than i already am so stop pressing her and monster girl's like no nigga stop coochie watching if you uh -oh. get this clingy after one day they consider that your last and rex pulls up and like oh shit Holy. eighth grade john i'm serious in this bitch Holy. i know we had a daycare to run and cecil pulls up straight gives that boy a jump scare and lets them know hey guys we have company bro thinks this a marvel movie for real he shows that a ship from mars is headed straight to earth and whatever is in it most likely wants smoke and shape smith aka sonic is like okay guys i have a secret i'm from Sorry. mars and cecil is like nigga we know you thought we'd let you on the team without knowing what you are so he's so like Damn. well i have another secret when invincible came to mars with the other spacemen i knocked one of them out traded places with them because i always right. want to travel the stars and i know what's on that ship it's most likely the evil space thing took over the nigga i knocked out and they on their way here and everyone starts panicking but rex is like hold on guys i have an idea all right bro let me get the mic back yo i think rex is the only one who knows how broken adam eve can be that's why he pulled up on her and gave her a little motivational speech and now she's back in the field now imagine if adam eve wasn't nerfed by being a hero she don't even gotta be a full villain if she was like an anti-hero man she would be a problem her power is like manipulating atoms or something like that i don't know if she has to have some knowledge on what she's turning something into but if not she can probably turn the air around you into poison turn the dirt into that's what i was saying adam eve is by far the most op character in in that there's a lot of times where people make superheroes this isn't even just an invincible problem where if you really think about their power set there's absolutely no way they should the flash is the most should be the most op character the flash should never even trip on something facts the nigga ran so fast he outran death there there should be but they you you find you realize when they write a character that's too strong and they keep trying to nerf him like damn we really just gave her the power of jesus she can just create things out of thin air what then why does she just reshape the niggas atoms of his heart into a goddamn car motor they just just you can just but no oh, no they gotta explain because i watched that little uh adam eve little mini movie whatever they had and i think she can't turn things into organic matter i think she can't deal with organic no because she did turn something into a hamburger didn't she she basically majin boo she can just turn a nigga into a hamburger and eat the nigga she could eat a nigga without him being a hamburger. I just say, nigga. <laughs> nukes if she so wanted nah this universe needs a batman they need a contingency plan for her ass if she go evil who's stopping her so mark finally asked about the books his pops was talking about and we already know debbie sold them junks she was not keeping that shit in her crib that's when cecil came through told mark about the mission and took off to space but these creatures thrive off pure violence they don't care who you are it's on sight and I'll just chop this one off as Rex carried. Without his draft pick, we would have lost half the team. So they Facts. pushed their way through the <laughs> ship and homeboy Facts. done goose, punching that thing to spawn a tsunami. And for most of this fight, I'm like, damn, does nobody have an AOE attack? Punching them one at a time is not going to work. Then Robot Man actually came through on one and knocked them out, but it lasted about five seconds. Adam Eve had to come through with a clutch save again. The game plan was for so Robot Man to boost that AOE attack, but Adam Eve ain't have enough juice to hold that barrier. Good thing homeboy is able to buy enough time for rudy to finish and when the immortal got it mark had no reason to show to check that nigga like that and not yeah, only he that he little boyed him too nah this is payback for that one time he pulled up on him just to talk shit later on when mark was walking home this nigga immortal pulls up just to hate nigga your shoes whack your hair whack <laughs> your fit whack your mama whack your daddy whack matter of fact nigga you the frank so he ended up getting close enough to hit him with a shockwave <laughs> picked him up try to get the hell up on out of there but the martians was like yeah well you see we appreciate y'all for helping but that nigga gotta die totally understandable makes sense. Makes sense. they left that scene with efficiency now with all this going Skate. on king lizard was also planning an attack so rex and them pulled up and there's so much shit going on shorty is over here going small just to get backhanded while k is over here getting bullied Look. I will also say that this is one of the most like they the reason why to me this is the best superhero content that's out possibly out right now. It's damn near better than it's better than anything Marvel has put out since Thanos died. 
Thanos died and took the whole MCU with him. I'm gonna keep it tall. Iron Man died and took the MCU. No, Thanos died, Thanos died after. Well, I think they both. Anyway, regardless, um, the way that they handle fights, I and the logic of powers, the way they use it. I love, this is the same reason I love Avatar: The Last Airbender, and the, because you can tell they really sit and think. How would this work in a real life scenario? Like what? What are? How do we subvert some of the cliches that people use? How does this make sense? That's why, like, bending in in in, in Avatar is so thought out that you goddamn feel like, are you sure I can't bend? Are you sure? Like, because it, it makes sense, <laughs> and they do it, and they do stuff like that on this show too, and I think it's very good because them superhero, uh, sometimes they do things where it goes like. And you have to like suspend your belief, even in their own rules. They don't follow their own rules. Like, nigga, that don't make sense. Like, why? How the fuck does Quicksilver get shot? I've never understood that. Why? Cause no, cause he had to run in front of the people. No, he didn't. He could have. He's Quicksilver. If you're a speedster, you should never be hit by things that aren't moving at speedsters. Come on. I'm sorry. Look at this, right. spawn some clones, slip, neck grab, sit your dumb ass down. Can't even show that, it was pure evisceration. She yeah, spawned yeah, some more, and not gonna lie, at first she was putting in that work. These were excellent really. plays right here. At least until bro just started throwing her around. He then grabbed her by the neck, and I was like, no way. It's not going in like this, right? She tried to get away, but bro said, the fuck is you going? Grab it. I be forgetting how brutal this show is. No Woo! build up, no nothing, just straight death. And Woo! then it cuts to my boy Rex getting jumped. And Mix. look how he had to run into position to get that hidden. Nigga wants to be involved so bad. And Ray <laughs> is over here jumping into people's eyelids. Nigga losing like that would suck. But getting Ant Man, you should learn. Okay. I don't know what you yo stupid ass be doing, nigga. Yo stupid ass should be shrinking down and crawling into uh goddamn eyeballs noses mouths nigga I'm just letting you know but there's also a reason why you shouldn't maybe do that to someone who's too much stronger than you and we will see exhibit a a little bit in a little bit Ian alive is probably way worse <laughs> i thought we was good right though. Here, she actually. was just gonna return back to her normal size and murk the nigga i was wrong this too man sure. was squeezing his muscles so hard that shorty got crushed in his body now rex made the logical decision to fucking skedaddle and green girl's actually ass she lost to a spam attack big dude gonna spin back though slip quick two piece Come here. he was about uh. to throw another bomb but this nigga wants to eat everything rex may have lost a hand but that boy lost his head and of course the Damn. boss always has to come last gun to the back of your head name five ddg songs Milwaukee Calabasas! Uh, Just do it, you prick. Milwaukee! God damn. At this moment, I was going through a range of emotions. I ain't gonna lie. I did not think they was gonna do that. Nah, I didn't think they was gonna do that. Invincible go crazy. Sadness. Oh <laughs> anger. Now, I'm really mad. Confusion. Because ain't no way y'all kill my boy like that. But Rex said he going for a triple-double this game. Got up and started swinging, being that nigga's ass with his nut. I'm gonna keep it tall. I have no idea how he survived that. And I get people, people survive headshots all the time. It does happen. I wish they would have explained it a little bit better. In the show, they kind of just don't. They kind of just, I was like, is that a part of his power set? Is it because he has super strength? Does he have super strength, actually? I don't know if Rex has super strength, but is that, how did he survive that? I just chalked it up to, uh, I guess it's some superhero shit. I don't know. Oh, but this gotta be some type of world record. First of all, the fact that he was breathing on his nigga neck and still fucked up the shot is insane. Second of all, how do you allow the nigga you just shot in the head get up and beat your ass? How did he F up the shot, bro? He shot him dead in his headpiece. Nothing but nub shots. This gotta be the highest tier of ass one person can possibly get to. Then That's these officers walk in and one of them go, Sir, are you alright? 
Anyway, it turns out Ray also survived. But when the others came back from space, it was nothing good. They held a funeral for Kate. Ray is holding up in there. But at least my nigga Rex is going to be all right. He's getting yeah, a no, new Rex hand and everything. Also, in between all this, Rex Mark and Amber though. broke up. But we knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time. And it was his whole thing of them talking to someone about how they can go about fixing this. But that shit just ain't going to work. Mark, you can't have no regular girl, bro. Unless you okay with seeing them once every 12 business days, you need a girl who can be in the field with you. I think it's time to give it up, bro. And after getting jumped by... Just dump her and get with Adam Eve, bro. Can we just... You, did you see how the excitement of this video even just went down when they started talking about her? Like, God damn, bro. Three Viltrumites, our boy Alan has made a full recovery. Whole Zenkai time we boost. thinking Ohel was an op, but turns out he was a rebel Viltrumite this whole time. Then Alan was given the mission to bring Mark back here. But after the death of K, this dude immortal was losing it. They saw someone pulling up to Earth and he thought it was Omni Man. But to be honest, nigga, you're lucky it wasn't Omni Man, cause in every Next. time like that man has whoops your ass. Facts. Matter of fact, if <laughs> Alan so wanted, he could have beat your ass too. Facts. You're lucky that Mark, for whatever reason, was taking a Sunday stroll through space. So long story short, Mark said he's not going to space again. So instead he showed Alan the books Omni-Man was talking about, which by the way, he got from Art. And he believes these books are showing them ways to hurt a Viltrumite. Then it cuts to Omni-Man getting bullied. And I truly don't know how you finna get out. Cause even if we find that overpowered ass weapon, we first have to get Omni-Man off the ship to use it. And the only people we know who can hang with Viltrumites is Mark on a good day, Alan, O-Head, and probably his little bro whenever he gets older. I highly doubt four niggas is taken out of Viltrum my army, but at the end with the blicky with the blicky skedaddle, if they find that goddamn BFG, then they gonna be alright. Yeah, that's a little with the blicker dude. That's the blicker dude. And it showed us Mega Mind getting fitted up for the occasion. He finally returned home. Now we got two episodes left, and hopefully season three don't There's take too long. Cause nigga, left. I am invested. <laughs> Nigga, there's only two episodes. Oh, God. How y'all come back from break, do four episodes, and then we're going to take another break? Uh man. I need more Invincible, man.